In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the remote support feature on your Topcon X25 and X35 consoles. Currently, this feature is not available on X30s, so just X25 and X35s. So to get started, you guessed it, we got to go to our setup menu down here and we need to navigate to system and features. Once we're there, we need to take our USB Wi-Fi antenna and for remote support, we found the Netgear ones to be a bit smoother than the Edimax ones. So for this demonstration, we're going to show you using the Netgear. So you need to plug that into the back of your console in the USB port. And in a couple seconds, you'll see a wireless button show up here. There it is. So you get to tap on that. Once you're here, there's two options. You can either enable your wireless connection or your wireless hotspot. In an earlier video, we showed you how to set up the extend feature and for extend, you need to enable wireless hotspot. For remote support, you need to enable wireless connection. So to explain the difference between the two a little bit to you, uh, for extend and the hotspot, you are connecting your tablet or phone to the console. For remote support, using wireless connection, you are connecting your console to a Wi-Fi network or uh, phone's hotspot. So you're either connecting your device to the console or you're connecting the console to a uh, device or network. So we're doing remote support so we need to enable wireless connection. So enable and the check mark and it's going to bring up this little wizard and we're going to hit the next button and it's going to start scanning for Wi-Fi networks. So it came up with two. So we want to connect to this Wi-Fi so we're going to hit the next button again. If you're connecting to a network for the first time, you're going to need to punch in a password and uh, it is case sensitive, so you need to be aware of that. If you've connected to it once, it will store the password in its memory and you won't have to type it in again, so that's our case, so we don't have to type it in. So with the next button again, uh, depending on your connection, uh, it may take a little bit, but it's good. So we'll hit the check mark. So now we're connected to the internet, so we will go to user now and remote support and again depending on your connection it may take a little bit to uh, connect here but usually it's pretty fast so we'll just wait for it here once it connects we'll be able to show you how to request support let's give it a little bit here sometimes it's already connected by the time I touch the button other times I have to wait 20 seconds or so so here we are now it, it connected so it's going to show you a list of support desks that you can request support from so typically in your case you're probably not going to see anything on here so to show you how to add a support desk we're first going to delete this one and hit the trash can there now we need to hit the add button uh, once you hit the add button here's where you need to call your local Topcon dealer or the Topcon support hotline and you need to talk to somebody that has a desk pin for remote support and they need to give that number to you over the phone and you need to type it in right here and type it in and hit the check mark and it's going to look up that desk and it's going to tell you the person and where they are and if that's the right person and all that so you need to hit the check mark and uh, it'll add them to your support desk list so once you've added them into your list you can now highlight them and we want to request support so we're going to hit the request support button and here you can type in a name because they need to they need to be able to see where the support request is coming from so in our case we're just going to type in x35 demo but you might want to type in your name or or whatnot so we'll hit the check mark and it's going to send out a support request so you'll be able to see here on my phone we just got the request you need to make sure that you are talking to them on the phone or just just talk to them on the phone when you request support because they're not going to get a text message or an alert or an email saying that you requested support. They need to be on their app or on their computer program waiting for the support request to come in and accept it. Uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna be alerted when you request support. So you need to you need to talk to them when you're when you're asking for help. So they're gonna see this and it says right there from X35 demo. So we're gonna tap that and that should connect us. Again, it may take a few seconds depending on the connection but right there uh, it says support session is currently active so we are connected and through this phone we now have remote control over this console you still have uh, control over your console when in support you can you can t top buttons just as you did before but the only difference is that I can as well I can uh, I can control your console remotely from 
my phone or computer. So uh, that's basically uh, remote support. Uh, it is what its name says it is. Uh, it's nice when you're in a remote area or you're a long ways away from your dealer and you just need a few button pushes to help you out and it can save you and the dealer a lot of time in uh, getting you up and going again. So that's uh, typically the way remote support will get used and uh, typically with a with a mobile hotspot is going to be the most most common way. That's about all uh, I have to tell you about the uh, remote support feature. Hopefully you found this video to be informative and uh, useful and uh, maybe it'll get you out of a pinch one day.